Here, look at this. This uh, this is the schema I used, uh, except that this LED I removed. No, this uh, this um, um, resistor I removed because I didn't have uh, I didn't have one kilo ohm. I have a potentiometer of one kilo ohm, and I have exact exactly that. <coughs> So now let's look at what I did and um, I can tell you it works. It's very simple and probably it's because it's simple that I'm so dumb that I can't reproduce something too complicated. So the left part is the old circuit, don't look at it. Now look, you have two, uh, two diodes and one LED here. In uh, yellow this is uh, antenna and I can remove it. Well, and this is why this is um, just one, one, one white wire, just only one. Here on the left, it's still the old, old circuit. And here you have a simple uh, uh, NPN transistor with um, a TO92. Uh, um, and you have on the left, oh, let me take the emitter on the middle, the base, and on the right, uh, the, well, well, look at the, the seal, I don't know what. <clears throat> so in white is the wire that goes to the other circuit with the LED. In, uh, in white it's also uh, here my um, resistor, one kilo ohm. The red here is not uh, is not connected, and the blue is connected to the black here. This black goes to the battery. Here, here you have two batteries. All the greens are connected. The black is connected to the minus and to the ground, and the uh, the green is to the <coughs> nine volts, and red to the eighteen volts. And you can see the red is on the uh, on the transistor. Now, the only thing that's not connected is this, the green 9 volts. And when I connect it to the blue here, up, you can see here the LED. You cannot see really well. Yeah, look look at this. I can touch it and it's it's brightened. And now look at look at this. Wow, and let's look at the bigger picture. See, it's not connected. So, yeah, see here. Well, nice, nice, up. Nice, isn't it? It's only one wire here. Wow, it works. I'm really, it's really cool. Now, I'm gonna connect the antenna uh, full time, and I'm gonna look at what what happens when I move this. Uh, if I move this, this uh, to the left, to the right, sorry, it's still bright until it touches, until there is no more resistance, and it's uh, the the light uh, stops, and apparently uh, the resistance value is not so much important. You just only need to have a resistance. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. You you don't see this. Well. Uh, here you can see there no light and there light. Wow, it works! And just only only this component. Wow, isn't it amazing? Amazing, isn't it really amazing? I really don't know how it works, but I'm going to investigate. You can see here I have an open source um, um, oscilloscope. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't go really in high frequencies, but anyway, it's cool. And these are the other two batteries that I used for the previous experiments that didn't work. Wow, I'm so happy it works. So, stop it. And I I'm, I'm surprised at how I have also this, but this is an impermissive, but I don't know if it works really well for such small currents. So let's power it. Okay. So you can see this. I can press the relative 
because it's always something is never zero relative zero impediment zero amperes and on the green okay um you can see well it doesn't it's not so specific it's a little bit, little bit significant and on the reds Wow, 3.5 amperes. Wow, yeah, cool. Anyway, so I'm so happy.